guys, what's good? Forty you back again with another video. It's been a wee while since I've last been on YouTube because mainly because I've been busy with social life and stuff in general and generally just work. So YouTube's kind of took a back seat to now for now. But back again with a video. So I'm not gonna leave you all totally dry here without any content. So yeah, so it looks like the I want, to talk, I want to discuss something about the upload schedule for the channel. Also, it's going to be once a month by the way the videos are going, and that's probably the easiest. I know one video a month isn't really the best for a small YouTube channel, but again, it's always really mad because I'm really busy at work. I'm off for some holidays from college, so yeah, but my stress work is absolutely crazy. So, for now, unless I can get a better stress or a better job, it's going to be averaging one video a month plus. I've got social life as well, so you know, try and balance everything until you hear So, yeah. But one video a month is still, still, still monthly videos. Good for the channel, probably good for growth. If people keep watching them, maybe get, maybe get more and more views, more subs. Who knows? Maybe two, three videos a month can get enough. Hmm. But anyway, this would be a really short video today because I've really got spent. I spent a lot of money, not in manga. I've only got a few volumes here today, but still, but still a few volumes nonetheless. And let's anyway, anyway, let's get into it. let's get into the volumes. So the first volume is actually on the series, I've, not, I've only read the first few pages of but I need to really get into it. It was really interesting comments, I actually got this uh, recommendation of the Iron Man's video on something like top 10, top 10 horror, horror manga. And I was like, oh, I've, 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 I was like, this has, the like, series has such an interesting comment. I'm like, I need to try and pick this up, it sounds so interesting, it sounds really good. And that series is Bloody Monday. There is something with this series that and that is that volume four is extremely out of print. So yeah. That's the only downside to the series that volume four is out of print, but apart from that, I've heard it's fantastic from everything I've heard about it, like the main character. It's about I think it's about what I can remember is about a terror script. Or he has to I don't know, I don't remember the concept. I thought we really read the volume I've been kinda of putting it off because I've been on a series like Berserk and Naruto. Will be review for Part of Naruto is coming possibly next month or as soon as I don't know when I get when I get around to it because I need to get and stuff blah blah blah. But still, I, I'm going to be doing a review on Part of Naruto. It was the last video promise about the old news kill video. Yeah, that's not happening. I forgot about that. Who me means I did the video quickly, but yeah, they get a chance to do it. And yeah, so that's not happening anymore. But you know, Part of Naruto over news kill. Would I pick Part of Naruto because honestly, I finished reading it two weeks ago when I was on holiday. That's the reason I've not been doing videos because I was on holiday recently, but you know, besides that, yeah, so if I finish part of the article, so if I do it for that, it's coming out very soon. But Bloody Monday, honestly, I've not read much of it, I've read maybe the first two or three pages, to be honest, but I'm going to get into more of it at a point. Just right now, it's taking take a back seat in the back wall because I've got so much more to get through. I've got Berserk, My Academia, I'm going to be catching problems on I need to catch up on that manga series in particular. I've got so much more to catch up on. But yeah, Bloody Monday, from what I know and what I remember, it sounds really good. I just, I just need to sit my teeth into it. And once I sit my teeth into it, I'll probably get, really, probably get on the bad line with it and how it's really good. So yeah, Bloody Monday Volume 1. Next manga is only two volumes, really, of, of Time Manga Nation, that is. To and finally, I'm so happy I finally picked up those two volumes. I still need them because I've not read these volumes yet. But oh god, I really, really need to sit my teeth into these because... The last volume of the cliff and that is Tokyo Re Volumes 9 and Volumes 10. Oh god. Oh god, this is just so much and talk about volume eight vol sorry about volume eight here. Oh my god, left left on such a cliff higher, literally. Oh my god. Spoiler alert, Arma dies. Ah, uh, oh no, too late, you know, huh? Arma died. Um not Susan no, it was the name, it's the guy, it's the character, it's a female. I think it's a trans character, transgender character. It's He says he's female, but I think her gender's female. I'm not remember. I guess I'm getting into a whole, whole sub subject here, so we're not going to dive into it because that's a whole different pile of worms. But the character was, what was the name again? I forgot the character's name. I apologise, I apologise. And Muski is Muski. Yeah, Muski was taken by, to he killed Torso by removing Torso, Torso in the last volume. In, in this volume, and I was like, oh my god, I need to know, I'm on a hype, I need to know what happened, I would get volume 9 since it comes out. Volume 9 comes out, and I don't have any money to buy it. I was like, shit, so I was like, oh crap. 
So I was like, okay, I need to wait, wait, wait. Got paid. Got volume eight. And it's like volume nine, ten. Boom, bye. Because it was volume nine came out, and then volume ten came out. So I'm like, crap, I'm falling behind. So I'm buy both volumes and read them to catch up. But I haven't read them yet. So I'm okay, in a bit of a stalemate here. So yeah, I do need to read volumes nine, ten. To volume eight back, sorry. And just find out what happened to a uh, muskie because what I, I, I know i know I, I think he becomes a, a centipede girl or a dragon girl one or two and i just know he goes crazy he goes um, insane he loses the plot at a point in the manga but i don't really i don't that's what i know on the internet like spoilers by the way to like blah 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 who cares really who cares like spoilers but still i need to be the one because i cannot wait because tokyo was literally my favorite manga he is brilliant and yeah and the funny thing is with Tokyo Girl, I got into it really weirdly. Like, what what happened was, it was like, back when I was in high school, probably a uh, 6 or 5, I was really, I mean, crap, I can't remember what's that anyway, because I've heard things about I being really bad. So me and a friend went to a bookshop, went to like a watch and stuff, and I'm like, okay, he doesn't read manga at all. I was like, pick a manga for me, for me, anything, just pick anything for me. He picks books up, I'm like, okay, and I already have a series, and I don't normally read it. He goes, okay, and he picks Tokyo Girl up. I'm like, you know what? I'll pick it up to see if it's any good. Went read the first volume like in a day, like a day, like a week. Like oh god, I fell in love with it. And I just just from there on out, I completed the whole series, literally volume by the volume. By the time I, by the time I got the final, by the time I, by the time I started collecting Tokyo Girl volume one, like one, like the first three volumes here. So you re was started get English prints. I'm like, oh my god, and you catch up and read this manga series fast. And oh my god, it is so it's so amazing. The world of is brilliant. So yeah, I've been I'm, I'm just and ever since I've been master of Tokyo Talk Re it's been so good as well. There's some bits like, mm, okay, a wee it slowed down you know, the plot slowed down a little bit, but you know, the maybe it's a bit so back up. Also, more Tokyo news, there's a new there's a new show at least a few years ago for Tokyo S, the second live action movie. I am so excited, I've watched the first one, in my opinion, is the best live action Iron Man movie of all time, hands down. CGI is okay, if, you know, Japanese CGI from AKK, for example, Tan Titan, crap CGI, CGI in that movie, oh my god, but still, you know, that's crap CGI, but was CGI in the Tokyo live action movie, it was fantastic, it looks like, it was so, from what I've seen, from what we've seen of the trailer, well, I've seen the trailer, it looks Amazing, it looks as good, but still, honestly, and the thing is, the thing, the, the thing is, the Tokyo Yo Live Action movie is better than the anime. I know that's kind of a stretch, but because the anime adapts the first three volumes of the manga wrong, no, the first four or five volumes wrong, it introduces the gourmet girl, then Harami. That is totally wrong, and the live action movie does it right, it introduces Kaneki, Toka. Then Harami and her story, and then the Gourmet Girl. But then the anime switches these two arcs around. Why? Just, why? And like, I hated it. I was like, no, 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 this is bad, this is bad. No. Live action movie. In my, in my opinion, if I was going to make, say like this, if I was going to recommend Tokyo or somebody, I'd recommend the live action movie of the anime any day. But over them to the manga. If you're, going to be talk, if you're going to be Tokyo, read the manga, it's so much better. But yeah. So that's all the manga I picked up for this month. I've actually picked up some anime as well. Believe it or not. So I don't buy any anime that much. But I say it's, I'll get smacked for one, why not? So I bought I suppose right, eh, I bought Dragon Ball Super Part One as it falls down. Part one and part two. As long as time as like Mm, I don't have any Dragon Ball collection. I don't have any Dragon Ball. I don't, don't own anything Dragon Ball. I was like, yeah, they're quite cheap, and they're having a deal one for like, you get two for like, fifteen, like ten pounds, stuff like. I don't know. So I was like, do you know what? Why not buy it? So I buy some Dragon Ball Super because like, is there that or you buy this, this, that, that back over? I was like, mm, I'll just get that because I want to get Dragon Ball Super. Plus, I actually want to get a proper shot because I want to watch the anime super because I because. Because I think that Dragon Ball ends, does not need a sequel, it just ends at Z, that's it, it's ended, it's done, it's done and dusted. But I was like, mm, I might as well give Dragon Ball Super a shot as well. But the only thing I also bought, well, I'm finding more sites for it, is My Hero Academia Season 1 is finally out in English. 
in the UK, you don't know how hard, how long we've been waiting for this to come out in English in the UK. It's out in America. But no, in the UK, like, oh, no, 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 But guess what? Manga, manga entertainment picked up the rights. No, actually, I'm wrong. Maybe, I think it's because recently, well, not really, quite recently, Funimation bought the rights to Manga UK. So, that is how we were able to get the series over, because this was a Funimation entitled Scholistic. That makes more sense, okay? That makes more sense rather than what I was saying. But yeah. So, I'm so happy we finally have this in the UK. Now we can get, now we can get a lot more anime over. We've got Black Clover uh, over. So, maybe we get. Not maybe the best is owned by NVM Entertainment. The ones who. The, the company that publishes Paranoid Agent and, and Steel Sprout Slime. All the. All the re-anime. Do you know, all the re-anime over in America, like. Or, like. A fairly pan, a highly panel agent is quite hard to get over in America, like Blu-ray wise. Here in the UK, it's not like, like it's like I hear people charging like two hundred dollars for like a Blu-ray box set of it. I'm guessing on Genesis, I'm not sure, but uh, they're trying to make space, crazy space prices for panel agent Blu-ray. UK, it's like forty pounds. It's not that expensive. But that's what's the rates. But anyway, I'm not going to iron rates. I don't know anything. I'm just saying what I know. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Who cares? But this isn't, but still, even though I have all this, but yeah, I've watched some anime, but still, that's not why the manga holds case most of. There's another reason why, and that is because I picked something up quite recently, literally two weeks, three weeks ago. And that, and for anybody that's a Gundam fan, they know how hard and expensive this kit is to get. Well, not how hard it is, but how expensive this kit is to buy. And if you're shopping off. A hobby in Japan, it's not in stock right now. But if you shop off Amazon, that is, and that is, that is, even the camera could go freehand, so apologise for the bad this, camera That is the perfect grade Exia lighting model. This kit is literally 300 quid. Oh yes. Oh yes. I finally bit the bullet and bought the one of the probably the best Gundam kit of all time. I was gonna if I was going to write this kit, I'd probably give it something like a ten, 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 ten. Like it is a fantastic kit to build. And oh god, is it beautiful when it lights up? And look at that, it's so good. But there's a few things about the kit, it's like, hmm, building it, oh, maybe it's about Gundam, but honestly, it's still a fantastic kit. Or at the end of the day, it's, I mean, well, it's probably, it's peak Gundam, it's Gundam at its absolute peak. And this is the reason why I have absolutely no money left at the end of this month. Then let's go to Transan mode. No, it's not, it's going to... And there it is, there we go, I'm going to transam over there. Oh, it's pulsing. Um, honestly, what's he going to review this? Watch Mickey, uh, Mickey Guy's video on it. Go on YouTube, I'm always on one of the best the, the Gundam YouTube channels of all time, but oh god. If anybody doesn't understand, why have you, everybody's like, why have you spent £300 on a model kit? For anybody that's not a Gundam fan, you'll not understand, but for anybody that is a Gundam fan, or is a double O fan, it's Exia. It is, I quote this from Bad Gumpla, it is a love affair at first sight. Let me try and get like a, show the back of the Union Drive. There is the Union Drive, there's the back of the kit. I started to sticker up a little bit, literally yesterday I finished the torso. It took me like a few, a few hours to do some stickers. Just to finish the torso, I didn't even finish the torso yet. Anyway, that wee bit is not really going well, but yeah. So this is the reason why I have not really been uploading videos as well, because this thing, I repeat, thank God I finished it, because I took uh, two weeks off work to go on holiday. This thing, I ordered this before I came, I, came, I came home. This thing took me four days to build, straight. Like, from, from like, Three o'clock in the afternoon to four o'clock at night. I, I put I put I nearly pulled an all nighter in this thing. I put like from like twelve o'clock even twelve o'clock once in that morning 
I feel like four o'clock at night building this thing. Oh my god, there's so much to build. And that's fine, I love it. Because my last perfect cage was a perfect cage strike on them. That took me a day to build. So I was like, it actually will not take that long. Oh wait, it's been four days. He's still close to finishing. I ain't finishing this thing before I go back to work. Because I am not going to let this thing hang. Because I'm going to time, I'll be tired to build it. And yeah. But I done it. Four days straight building. And it's done. But everything's done. The, G the reason why GS was not attached is that's a minor thing with me. A minor, minor flaw this thing is that the GN sword is a pain in the ass as such. But apart from that minor, minor flaw, this thing, honestly, is amazing. Now you don't have to, it is a non lighting model of this, you don't have to get it. But I'd recommend getting the lighting model because, oh, it's just, like, it's just so worth the money. Like, it's just so worth the money. So, yeah. Like, I mean, at first I'm like, oh, gosh, about £300 in a gun with kit, what am I doing? But see, as soon as you complete this kit, as soon as you put that V fine X in his head, V, yeah, v fin, sorry, not V fine, V fin, oh my god, everything just becomes amazing. Like, you just become, a, you just fall in love with it. There we go, I want that happen. Yeah, and the reason why it's flashing is because it'll, the batteries are literally dead, you see. Like, literally, if I only did that like maybe not even 100 times. Oh my god, the batteries are never drained. It's this thing will drain batteries like there's no tomorrow. But yeah, but if you guys want more Gundam content, tell me in the comments below because I'll happily do some Gunpla. But you guys can, if you guys prefer Gunpla over manga, eh, over manga, then tell me in the comments below. I'll happily, happily buy. I will happily do one Gundam over manga, but it's just going to take long to do videos. Videos take about like coming in a month already, at a month's pace already. So yeah, it won't take this long. But I have to build it, maybe a sticker dry transfers. Honestly, none of my kits, but this isn't, but the thing is, this isn't my favourite, this is such a beautiful kit. It's literally like, it's just literally beautiful. But my favourite kit so far is actually been the Zaku 2. I bought it of Hobby Japan. Oh my god, it's such a fun kit to build. Like you generally, uh, like about you build another frame first, then you, you build another frame, you armor up. Oh my god, generally, like it's one of the few ma few masteries that's actually brilliant to build. And it's the white, it's the white Zaku. So it's not a regular Zaku. It's a pure white Zaku. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's just such, it's such a fun kit to, kit to build. It does come with water slide decals. I am personally, I'm not a fan of water slide decals. I prefer dry, I prefer dry transfers. But so amazing kit. But anyway, back to Asia. But one thing I'm going to bring out: this is a three hundred pound model kit. Why does it come with real gear stickers? Again, to quote that from um, Bag Umpa, but it goes straight to him. He's such a good chip. It goes straight to him, and I can go go exactly. I can go exactly. I can go exactly. I can't say his name right. Who cares? Both me like he comes with but he's a few hundred pound kit, but he comes with real gear stickers. Like honestly, he comes with real gear stickers and the sticker job may not be the best, but I don't care. I do not care. You honestly I want to I'd love to see you try to apply stickers. They're literally that small in the right pay place. I may not be hundred percent done, hundred percent accurate, but still I do not care. That is the best I'll get. I'm happy with that. He's my kit. But he's just such a beautiful kit. I mean, would I just if, if you would I justify spend? Is this worth spending three hundred quid on? You could get like you could get the two hundred, the, the like the cheaper two hundred pound model. I mean, like I think it's like hundred and ninety pound actually. Something like that, like hundred eighty pound for the Noel D version. And do you know I'm going to say say something else from um. Bag on plot. This would be the this gun would be the absolute perfect kit if the lighting model never existed. This would be the best gun kit of all time if the lighting model if the lighting model did not exist. Because I do agree with bag on plot on the fact that the fact that, that if you get the not one lighting model version, there's still a better version of this kit to get. And plus, even if you didn't want to get the even you did get the non lighting model, you did want to put LEDs on the road. You'd have to get your kit. Disassemble it and put LEDs through the inner frame. I'm just gonna say, 
some parts are a little bit difficult. Like, for example, here in the arm, is it arm? Here in the arm, yeah, here in the arms are a little, that's a tiny difficult, like here in this, um, oh, this, this arm bit right here, I don't know, this, the, the elbow, this bit right here, that's kind of difficult to do, because you've got to be able to do it, and you've got to get through all of that, and that, and, to, and still, like, take this, let me take this shoulder pad off, as it falls out, like, you've got this, this LD connection, the only way you can't be able to put the solar pad on that because you might break the connection. So, you've got to do is twist the joint, push that down, and put the shoulder pad on. Not as it one hand because it's a two hand job. But still, it's still an amazing kit. No no doubt about it, it's an amazing kit. But if you do get the 200 pound, if you do get the non LD version, honestly, still I would recommend getting that if you are going to get it. If you can't afford it, then maybe wait a little bit and maybe in if you can't afford the perfect X here, which I do recommend you pick up, you can get the real good X here, which is actually just as good. I do own own real good X here. But he's in he's damaged, so yeah, he's not going on my shelf. I mean this thing's not even like that, I mean, this thing's literally like the most expensive kit I've bought. And he's not even on my shelf. Now he's missing a shoulder pad, which is fell, fell on the floor. So yeah. So you can, I hope you guys can kind of understand why the manga is kind of, the manga is you know, not as big this month. Why not much manga because I've had no money. Literally, like this cat cost me 300 quid, 350 quid, sorry, 350 quid for decent delivery. Like. It's like fifteen pounds for delivery. So I'm getting a Friday and getting a Saturday or Sunday because it's post service. I'm only getting next Monday. And I would have been back at work. No, something like that, I don't know. So yeah, this kit is so worth the money. What is it worth the money? I'm gonna say for a pretty much a rookie Gundam build. Like I've only got, I've only built one high grade. Stray or XMD. Yeah, about four real grades, two ma three master grades, and two perfect grades. So I have not that much space beyond Gundam, but if you're new to the hobby like me, if you want to get a perfect grade, go for it. If you want, if you want to get an excellent model as your first kit, go for it. If you want to get, I don't know, something like a Zabase, uh, a Zabase, which oh my god, I want to get. It comes with, it comes with a pump action shotgun as its weapon. That's dope. As hell, get that. Honestly, if you can, if you have money for it, buy the kit. I'll be honest, get the kit, get all you can, because this thing is sold at Hobby in Japan. All we can get this is on Amazon, and also, I don't even give Hobby in Japan bad press. But if you are, if you live in the UK, and you order it off the company, you're gonna have to pay. Uh, if you use FedEx, you have to pay FedEx duty tax. Just for, oops, sorry, that this. Oh god, this is just freaking. There we go. It's a much crotch. I'm not going to edit that out because I can't hit videos. I'm crap. That PC's broken actually, so yeah. This is going up raw. But yeah, if you go on a whole in Japan, just keep in mind if you use FedEx, a little bit other companies, you'll have to pay duty tax to FedEx directly. So keep that in mind buying off Hobby in Japan if you live in the UK. I'm not giving Hobby in Japan any bad press here. Like, they're an amazing company. They have some amazing kits and they package your kits so good. Like, honestly, one of the best packaging jobs of all time. But just be wary, okay? Guys, just be wary if you want to buy a hobby in Japan. Just be wary if you use FedEx. You're going to have to pay FedEx £40 duty tax and hobby in Japan for like £40 for delivery. So just be careful of you buying, okay? Just a bit of buy beware. I'm not giving Hobbit in Japan bad press. They're a fantastic company. But just be careful. Personally, I'm not going to use services again. But if you want to use you, to your services, that's fine. That you do you. But personally, I'm not going to use services again. A few some ones, they're okay. They're okay company, but honestly, I'd rather get them on Amazon. <laughs> like, because if they have to pay duty tax, I'll be a fan of any. But maybe it's just a European thing. I don't know. Maybe it's just loving you. If you love you, if you love the US or Ireland, maybe it's just UK. If you love in Europe, because you live in Europe, you're fine. If you live in US, you may be fine. But if you live in UK, just just know you have to pay forty quid duty tax to FedEx. Or maybe even more, depending on how much you're going to be buying. How much you're spending on. So yeah, or maybe less, I don't know. But yeah. So, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For this video, it's been quite short. But it's turned into 25 minutes so far. So, yeah. We've hit the 10 minute mark, guys. Haha, <laughs> yay. I mean, so sarcastic. I don't care if it hit the 10 minute mark. Just me, YouTube videos. It's about making money. It's just about having fun. I don't even make money off these. These are just for fun. <laughs> yeah, so. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And honestly, I hope you, I hope you just, just, just look at your face here. It's just, it's just beautiful. Like, I'm justifying literally buying another one so I can get some, have two extra pair of grace, but you can get, you can, what you can get, you can get like the, I think it's from a movie, but anyway, it's like that, you can get a damaged ex, you get a cape, you get a broken chain, so it's so cool, you can get a perfect one of that. I'm kind of trying to justify buying another one so I can get that kit for an extra, the perfect grade. Get another perfect extra kit, and then get that and just have two extras, one fine and one, one like, Completely like normal as in one broken, but I want to get light model. I get the non light model because I've got light model, I'm happy with my light model, but I'm not buying another light model and going through trying to weave these like these LEDs for the other frame again. Also, another thing I was going to point as a flaw before I actually did it properly see the um, I'm trying to see if I can get see, get, see the bit, see like that, like. I know take the kit apart. Oh my gosh, you know Gundam fans are crazy comment section, but see like there, that piece there, make sure you pop those two bits together right. Because as building it, I was like I was like literally that bit won't connect to I'm like, oh god it's not connecting, maybe it's just not connecting right. But what what turned it what turned out being was that I didn't pop I didn't just pop it in correctly. I didn't go didn't pop it in right. So yeah, make sure you do that. Be you this kit if you're gonna get this kit. A bit of kit beware. I don't know, but yeah. Now he's missing his front skirts, a shoulder pad, and a bean saber. This is aftermath of what 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 that is what that what is on the floor. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like or dislike down below. Also don't forget to subscribe to film metal and don't also don't also forget to subscribe to the channel, please. I need subscribers. We've only hit ten subscribers, come on, we can hit ten subscribers guys. Actually, I'm dead. If we do hit subscribers, I'll actually be quite happy. I'll be there proud of us. Like, oh my god, I hit 10 subscribers. In my last video, I, was, I, mean, I forgot, to, I've been putting this off for days. My last video I hit over 100 views. Holy crap. Thank you all so much for watching that. Like, it's got 167 views. Oh my god, that's insane. I did not expect that. I was like, oh, let's get 10 views. That's that's really good. I'm happy with that. 20 views. Oh, next day, boom, 50 views. After that, 90 views. And 100 views. Like, oh my god, the video's blown up a little bit. Like, that's just amazing, fantastic, and brilliant. And thank you all so much for watching the video. Like, from the bottom of my heart, that means so much. I know it's just 167 views. To some days, like, oh, I've got 40k subs. Oh, that's, that's just, that just means nothing. But if somebody has, like, literally 90 subscribers and the last video before it did squash hit views, that's insane. That's nearly double the views. That's absolutely insane. I think it's hundred views, maybe hundred forty, I don't know, but it's over hundred views. It's fantastic. Oh my god, thank you guys so much for, uh, for watching the video. And please, please keep watching the videos, keep supporting the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit, hit subscribe, hit the bell and put post notifications on. I know, I know a lot of YouTubers say that, but honestly, YouTube itself, their post notifications, <laughs> sometimes it's okay, but yeah, sometimes you put post notifications on so you can get videos from channels. Also, also, I'm going to share with you. Also, I'm just going to say, I'm going to be nice and give, just go subscribe to Bad Gunpla because he's a fantastic Gunpla channel and we need more of his videos. Go Bad Gunpla, if you do somehow on the internet see this video, please do more videos. Like, we love you, man. Come on. Like, your content is fantastic. Do more videos, please. And also, make a guy go tell it. Make a guy, uh, make a guy get to. We are, we are, we are still waiting for that part two mass raid Thunderbolt Gundam. Yes, don't think, don't forget, don't think you fans forgot. Don't think we forgot. We are still waiting for the part two to the mass raid Thunderbolt Gundam. Where's the rest of you? Because you've got part one, but where's part two? Hmm. We're still waiting for that. I'm kidding on. You do your video. You do your, but honestly, that's probably that's probably actually a good video of yours. Very good video. Go straight to him. And also, if you guys, I'm, I'm just gonna say, I got this kit from Amazon, three hundred quid, but no problems. Got it. Get buy your kits whenever you want. Buy a Gundam. Buy if you're going. And also, if you guys hashtag, no, I'm hashtag not sponsored at all by the way. If you guys only buy any manga off any internet source, go to 
bookdepository.com wait where, where the hell is it there's a camera there's a camera go to bookdepository.com to get all your book needs if you want free worldwide delivery no no services above one no tax no is that bull crap go to bookdepository honestly best site of all time you can actually you can fight me to the death i would you can debate me to the death you're wrong this is the best place to get your books I'm the I'm, I'm gonna say the I'm I say says is other site you can use. Um it's like a Japanese site for digital manga and stuff. It's a manga <laughs> Joey. That's a good site, but a bit of pot if you, you guys don't even like manga, what if you guys don't what if you like an attack you don't like manga like you like you know it's like oh I want a good site to go get uh, novels. Go to bitdeforce dot com. I'm Ken Joey, I love you, you're such a good channel. You're you you have your sponsors, but I'm not sponsored. Right, I'm not sponsored by anybody. By the way, I'm not supposed to buy anybody. I'm just gonna feel shares because I don't know. Try and boost more out. I don't fuck. I don't know. I'm just doing it. But yeah, but the first for all your manga needs. Even though none of these ma none of this manga of this month came with the postery. Because I've not ordered them off a while. I've came I'm debating where to buy mm, don't want your sponsor, I'm debating to buy our Berserk again or the Naruto part part three box set and the, the final Naruto box set. Because I finished part one, I'm I swear Guys, I promise you, I will do a review in part one Naruto when I get a chance. That should be a long, long video because I already I don't. First of all, I don't end my videos because my PC is crap, and trying to transfer files off the phone to the PC is just non-existent. Difficult, like non-existent. It does not work. I've tried it. Trying my videos before, it did not work. So yeah. Everything you see here is just going to be a long video. That's why I could trim this down probably to 10 minutes. But it's a 31 minute long video. I apologise. But yeah. So that's going to be like a maybe an hour or two long video. So if you guys want to sit there and listen to some, uh, some person rabble on about part of Naruto. Look forward to that. But yeah. Sorry, but the next video might be manga. I don't know. Next video will be, the next video will be opening this up. I don't know. So far, so far, I've got a monthly schedule of one video, and if it's one 30 minute video per month, that's not too bad, in my opinion. That's not too bad. I'm, I might try and do more. Uh, I do want to get into, do want, do want to do more things. I want to do stuff like manga reviews, talk about articles and stuff. Do you know recent? Um, do you know I'm going to, do you know I'm, I'm going to start doing that. The might over this. Do you know do this? I'm making go over this summer. I want to try and at least, at least, at least release three manga reviews. At least three manga reviews over the summer. That's my goal. Over the summer, I'm going to try and at least get three manga reviews. And also, I'm going to try and do two videos on articles. At least two videos on anime articles. Because I want, because I want to be, I want to be his channel more to like. I want to get his channel more subscribers and stuff. That is my goal. My goal at the end of the year is to try and get at least fifteen subscribers. That's the goal. If we get over that, that's amazing. We start goal, that's amazing. Still, that's the goal of the channel. Get the goal of the channel is getting fifteen subscribers in the year. But I do want to do more videos. It's just mainly time and the effort to do the videos and read the manga and stuff, blah blah. It takes all time and effort. Plus, my work, I'm working crazy shifts. I'm, I'm working five. I've been I'm working five shifts a week. So I get two days off. Plus, I've got a social life as well. So everything's spent on each other. So I'm gonna try my best here, guys. Come on, hopefully we can do it. Hopefully we reach goal. If not, uh, we'll think. We'll think. If I don't reach the goal, then we don't reach the goal. I'll burn for every day. So yeah, I'm joking. I'm not gonna burn this goddamn. This goddamn cost three hundred pound. I have not put three, I'm not gonna leave three hundred pound on fire literally. It would be a cool video it would be a cool video though. That would be an awesome video but I'm not gonna do it. Like, if I had the money to buy an RC and had the time effort to build it, I'd totally do that. I wouldn't be like the model one though. It wouldn't be that but I'd totally do that but I don't have the time for it. Also I think doing something else in the channel, maybe tech views. Tech views and I don't know. I'm just thinking to try to think any of content to put out. Again, I don't know, maybe from a talk from an anime manga, try to check channel. Hey! Bit of buy and box. Hey, not buy and box. Unbox Therapy only does that. Well, if I watch this video, maybe he's something good. Lou, you're awesome. Go straight to Unbox Therapy because he's just, Lou's just an awesome person. Go straight to him. Watch one of the most humble people that I've ever watched. I've not met him personally. I'd love to meet one day. So cool. But anyway, yeah. Hope you guys love the channel. Anyway. I say this video is going to be 35 minutes long, so I'm going to end the video here. Please subscribe, 
please subscribe, please just watch the video. Just fuck, screw subscribing, screw subscribing. Just watch the video. Just please watch the video. Please, we need the views in the channel. We need the views. Please, oh god, god that. But yeah, also subscribe to the hearts well from uh, subscribe for more anime, manga, tech, Gundam, whatever content I put up on this channel. Actually, yeah, who knows? This video can just be a bit paint drying. Who knows? Who knows? It could be a kettle boiler. Who knows? But anyway, yeah. Hope you guys. <laughs> who knows? Just see what happens. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the video. I hope the video. That's my dog barking. And on that note, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, good, 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 goodbye.